somebody messaged me yesterday in a good way in a good way and they said bro um i can't remember the exact words but it was pretty much like <laughs> bro you got your your selfies on lockdown brother and i thought to myself fucking hell you know i do i do have them on lockdown and i want to tell you his wife during the years that i was on drugs I, uh, you know, if you try to think back before I was on drugs and that, no photos at all. Fuck all. Especially with me and it, none. And it wasn't until I got on drugs, this lip gloss is popping, eh? But it feels like, it feels like, ooh, it feels like I've got hanu on my lips. Anyway, um, yeah, so no photos of me at all. When I got on drugs, I, you know, <laughs> first of all, when you're on drugs, you just think that you're kind of like the shiznit. And I keep fucking with my lips, sorry. It feels so weird. Anyways, um, so you feel the shiznit. So that's one reason why you start taking photos. The next reason is that... I always knew from the minute I got on drugs to the minute I got off, I knew that I hated it. I knew that I didn't want to be on drugs for forever. So I started taking photos because I knew this was just a phase. And, and anyone that knows me from Perth and, you know, I knew you quite well or I sold to you or whatever. Um, I always said that. I always said, you know that um, I'm taking photos because when I do get off drugs and I know I'm going to I want to look back at those photos as and I'm going to use them as motivation now you might not have been on drugs do you know what I mean but it doesn't matter take photos of yourself and you know like I'd be bored and I'd start dressing up and I'd just dress up boom take photos take that off chuck another one on boom and you know, open, start a, file, a folder in a cloud in Google Drive or something. Something that only you can see. Because these photos, you know, unless you, un, until you have the confidence, these photos are, are just for you to use as your motivation. Like, I, I so desperately want my mugshot from the police station, but they won't give it to me because I'd blow that up. Fucking hell. I'd blow that up and... um to a life size and put that on my wall and every morning when I wake up ooh, fuck. do you know what I mean so yeah that's why I, and now you know so I've got a whole photo folder filled with photos that the rest of the world is not ever gonna see they don't want to see but those photos are for me to look at look back at and um, to use as my motivation to never go back there because obviously every photo has some kind of um, story attached to it. Ugly story. So when I look at those photos, I think, thank God, you know. And just like my bail worker says, he says, you need to start congratulating yourself on giving yourself credit on what you have accomplished. Don't focus so much on on what you've done in the past. He says, the, the, my problem is... Once upon a time, you know, when I had my children, when I had my husband, and, you know, my husband will know this, I was starting this business. Uh, you know what I mean? So I had everything. And in my eyes, I was up here. And, you know, even though I'm working, I'm doing good, I'm, you know, I'm sober, I'm this, that, he goes, you're, even, uh, even though you're doing all of that, in your eyes, you're not up here. You're not at the standard that you set. And so you don't feel like you've accomplished anything. He said, before you went to jail, so you were up here. Before you went to jail, you were way the fuck down here. He said, now where you are right now, you're not up here, but you're about here. He said, you're nowhere near what you were down here. You're up here. And he said, and for that, be, be fucking proud of yourself because you did it all on your own. And he said, now you've only got that much left to go instead of, 
you know, fuck, I wish I had a third hand instead of that much. Do you know what I mean? And so that's what we need to start doing. We might not be at our at the, the level that we set ourselves once upon a time when we were doing fucking awesome, when we were looking fucking good. You know what I mean? But, and this goes out to people that are not sitting at rock bottom. Do you know what I mean? Oh, I just heard a, a cool saying. It's like, um, all this time I've been sitting at rock bottom, I was sitting in rock bottom, and I just found out that rock bottom's got a basement. <laughs> and, oh, that's so true. Because every time I thought I hit rock bottom, boom, a few feet deep. Get digging, next, get digging. you still got shitloads way to go. But, um, yeah, so... How the fuck did that all... Oh, yeah, so selfies and that. So, yeah, you know, so you've got your, your cloud storage, you, you've got your personal folder of all your selfies and that, and you're going to use those as motivation. You're going to come to realize that as your confidence starts growing, starts growing, you you are, you've, you've stepped into that next level of, you know what, I'm not ashamed of myself now, and... Um, and I'm proud to, you know, if I put a photo up, I'm proud to put that photo up. Everyone edits their photos and all of this. And I do too. I crop them. That's all I do. I just crop it. Um, but when I put a, when I post a photo, that's because I'm proud of who I am now. And that's a projection of my proudness of myself. And, um, you know, I just think that, give it a try. If you really, like, you don't feel happy with yourself, you know, start with the fault, the personal photos. And just remember, they're only for your eyes only. And it's only so you can lock and load up that arsenal of, of empowerment, of motivation. Do you know what I mean? And whenever you're feeling like, oh man, you know, I'm not just, I'm just not fucking feeling it today. You sit there and go through those photos and... You know, when you look at how where you how far you've come compared to when you took those photos, that should be that should if you're strong enough, that should be enough for you to get off your ass and go back out there and do what you do. Okay, so I just wanted to share that to the bro that um messaged me that yesterday. That's why, bro. That's why I got my I got my selfies on lock, brother. I got my selfies on lock. Anyway, have a good day everyone.